Authorities say three people were injured aboard a single-engine plane that crashed near a Southern California drag strip where fans were gathered for the finals of a racing event. The Federal Aviation Administration says at least two parked vehicles on the ground were struck when the Piper PA-32 crashed around 11.40 a.m. Sunday near the drag strip in Pomona, east of Los Angeles. Four people were on board the plane, and nobody on the ground was hurt. The raceway is hosting the NHRA finals that began Thursday. Races were paused Sunday as emergency crews responded but the event later resumed. The FAA is investigating the crash. The European Union is considering imposing sanctions on China for sending weapons for the first time. The EU reportedly has convincing evidence of the supplies, according to Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. According to the sources, the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Josep Borrell, informed EU member states about the relevant intelligence data and called for decisive action. Borrell stated that the evidence was convincing and demonstrated the provision of lethal support to Russia. Now we must consider the full range of tools, including bans on doing business with Chinese companies, freezing assets and travel bans. But you also have to speak directly to China and make it clear. You have always said you want to remain neutral. You are not neutral. China is also not seeking peace. You are feeding the beast, he said. The news agency sources declined to elaborate on the intelligence findings. However, a senior diplomat referred to very serious reports from Reuters. At the end of September, the agency reported exclusively that a subsidiary of the Almaz Ante Russian state defense company called Kupol had developed and tested a new long-range combat drone in China and aimed to establish mass production there for use in the war against Ukraine. This involved the participation of Chinese experts, cooperation between China and Russia. China claims to maintain a supposedly neutral position regarding Russia's war against Ukraine. However, Chinese companies continue to supply Russia with dual-use goods. Officially, no transfer of Chinese weapons to Moscow has been recorded. Recently, Ukraine's presidential commissioner for sanctions policy, Vladislav Vasyuk, stated that about 60% of foreign components found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine originate from China. Media reports have also indicated that the West possesses evidence of Chinese companies secretly supplying weapons to Russia. This could signal a significant escalation of Beijing's involvement in the war in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Fabian Hinz, a research fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a defense think tank in London, said that if the Chinese government is aware of what is happening, it would be a significant development. If you look at what China is known to have delivered so far, it was mostly dual-use goods. What we haven't really seen, at least in the open source, are documented transfers of whole weapon systems, he said. Vladislav Vasyuk, Ukraine's presidential commissioner for sanctions policy, told Reuters that about 60% of foreign parts found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine came from China. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, China is helping Russia prolong its war against Ukraine. The Yemeni Houthis' arsenal, used against Western coalition ships and vessels, has shocked the Pentagon. U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment Bill Laplante said, Axios reports, a Pentagon representative was very surprised by the presence of modern cruise and ballistic anti-ship missiles in the arsenal of the Guys in Slippers missiles. According to him, these missiles can do amazing things by hitting ships and vessels in the Red Sea. Laplante also noted that modern weapons had appeared in the Ansar Allah movement in the last six months, and this makes the Houthis scary. I am an engineer and a physicist, and I have dealt with missiles my entire career. What I have seen the Houthis do in the last six months is something that has simply shocked me, the deputy minister said. 
According to the publication, the US is particularly concerned about the Houthis' anti-ship missiles with impressive characteristics. The Americans assume that Iran, which has long-standing ties with the Ansar Allah movement, supplies the missiles to the Houthis. The presence of such missiles in the Houthis' arsenal is a potential threat to all ships and vessels in the Red Sea without exception. The publication does not report how the coalition intends to combat this. Recall that this week the Houthis announced an attack on a US aircraft carrier and two destroyers with crews and ballistic missiles as well as drones. The US Navy confirmed the attack on the destroyers but said all missiles were shot down. Recently, Yemen's Houthis attacked two US destroyers with at least eight one-way attack drones, five anti-ship ballistic missiles and three anti-ship cruise missiles, the Pentagon said. Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder said in a press briefing that the US military successfully downed them all. Ryder also rejected the Houthi claim that they also targeted the US aircraft carrier in the Red Sea, the USS Abraham Lincoln. No damage was recorded to the vessels and no US personnel were hurt, Ryder added. The Houthis, a Yemeni group that Biden removed from the terror blacklist only to redesignate them two years later, are the same group that has been recklessly firing at commercial and military vessels transiting international waters in and around the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden, and Indian Ocean. Last month, bombers from the US conducted multiple airstrikes on several underground Houthi weapons storage facilities inside Yemen. Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin said that US Air Force B-2 bombers conducted precision strikes against five hardened underground weapons storage locations in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen.